Hi all, welcome back to Cracking the Fang interviews. Today I'm going to be talking about a very important topic, especially for graduate students, which is how do you get a AIML or a data science internship at Fang? And this is a very important topic because the internship season is coming up. And if you haven't prepared already, this will help your preparations get kick started and also help you get prepared near about in a month or month or a month and a half's time. So before I start, uh, let's uh, try to understand when you go for an interview, what, what is the interview you're looking for? So if you're applying for a data science or AI role, um, you need different kinds of skills. Uh, for an AI role, the interviewer wants you to know more about supervised modeling techniques, which would be CNNs, LSTMs, even transformers if you're doing NLP. And if you're doing, an, um, you'd also want to know about unsupervised modeling techniques like clustering. Um, an example of that is k-means. Um, and how does k-means work is a question that gets asked. Um, uh, what's expected here is you should know the mathematical equations and intuitions behind it. Uh, sometimes I've seen follow-up questions uh, like how would you modify k-means clustering to do, um, you know, to work well for certain specific uh, problem statements. So my uh, recommendation would be get very familiar with these techniques. They are primary tools that you use in everyday um, you know, uh, jobs and tasks in, uh, when you take up an internship. They want to know you're good at your concepts and fundamentals. And at the same time, it can be job specific. Um, you know, you'd, um, they, they would want you to know how to use Red, ResNet as a feature extractor. So if you're more into computer vision, versus um, using BERT um, or transformers, right? Uh, if you're interviewing for a natural language processing role. So these are some sample questions um, and we'll go into more detail in uh, later videos about them. The idea here is to give you samples about what's expected. How can you think uh, what the interviewer wants you to uh, prepare for and prepare proactively. For data science, so you could be asked uh, something uh, where um, you you know you want to uh, know that uh, the interviewer wants you to know the difference between maximum likelihood estimation versus maximum a posteriori, which is MAP. So the difference between MLE and MAP. Uh, they would also want you to know fundamentals of A/B testing. Uh, an example question of this would be why do we do power testing? Uh, and power uh, just to sort of close loop here power testing allows us to uh, find the number of uh, samples or number of uh, 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 number of uh, sessions we want to collect to make a significant pre uh, statistically significant prediction out of ab testing and last but not the least they could ask you statistical significance uh, what kind of tests have you used uh, when do you use the test versus uh, other tests and so on? Uh, and as uh, you know, things sort of uh, uh, go from there, they also want you to have good software skills. This would involve knowing either of these programming languages like C++, Java and Python for computer science roles, uh, more of AI roles. Uh, and SQL for data science roles because you you need to be able to retrieve data and then do data science on top of it. So these are must have uh, programming languages today for each of these roles. The third round could be also ML system design. They could ask you a question and a very open ended question like how would you design Facebook's newsfeed? Um, and a short answer to that is it's a recommendation system. And I, I encourage you to look up and um, sort of prepare yourself on that and um, a follow-up on that could be how do you design ads within the news feeds right uh, which are personalized to user experiences what users are using on facebook or clicking through so that's one part the other part is behavioral uh, they'd like to know how do you work in a team um, or how do you communicate uh, this is very important uh, really encourage you to prep through this we'll be doing more videos later to go in much more detail on these uh, and projects. Whenever I talk about projects, I like to have this acronym acronym called CIDS in mind, which is complexity, interest, design, and scope. Uh, question yourself on these uh, four aspects whenever you pick a project. Uh, what this will help you figure out is uh, you'll question yourself on what kind of problems interest you. 
uh, and how challenging of projects have you done right or you wish to do uh, the complexity is very important to present whenever you're talking about your project uh, tip for that um, is you should always present trade-offs of various design choices um, you know you made during the project um, also um, you know are any of your projects related to the internship you're applying for for example if you're applying for a computer vision role emphasize uh, using ResNets or, uh, you know, different projects around computer vision applications that you have solved and what interests you mostly. Talk, try to uh, practice talking about that before you go for your interview. And always think about industry problems when you pick class projects. For example, if you're running into some issue while, you know, using your Windows laptop, uh, like searching uh, for synonyms, that's a good project to take up and sort of solve for. Uh, you know, these are real industry problems that we all encounter in everyday life. So take a problem, uh, try to think through what problems people encounter in an industry or where the trend is headed by looking at research papers and uh, also just everyday life, right? Uh, try to think through these aspects when you pick a project. And how do you prepare is the next question, right? Once you know these expectations, how do you prep yourself? And I'll leave links in the description below to uh, for each of these. Uh, for data science and AI concepts, I highly encourage you to read textbooks, but uh, while you're preparing for interviews, you should always brush up using short summaries like, um, you know, medium articles. Uh, uh, also look for interview questions and concepts. I'll leave a link in the description down below. Uh, for coding rounds, I highly encourage watching our videos at Cracking the Fang interviews. We have picked uh, the top asked, uh, top 100 uh, coding problems and we are adding solutions to these every day. Uh, also practice on lead codes. And if you pick five problems a day, um, this will help you get there in 20 days. We highly encourage you to do at least 100 before you start interviewing. And if you just do five with us every day, you'll be there in 20 days time. Um, and ML system design, again, online articles, Google, look at things, the questions can be, how can WhatsApp be better, right? How would you de design uh, next person to text recommender on WhatsApp? You could be asked questions like these. And there are many YouTube videos. I'll leave a few links in the description below. Please check them out. Uh, projects, this is something you prep for throughout the course here. So, you know, always think about the acronym I mentioned, CIDS. Um, previously um, think about industry problems uh, publish your code on github uh, and also link the reports in your resume just so you make a portfolio for yourself so the interviewer can just click on it look at what you've done sort of uh, have that visual right rather than a person just talking over the phone and explaining things so that's all for today thank you for watching yet another video from cracking the fang interviews please uh, like share subscribe if you found your our videos helpful uh, stay tuned for the next one thank you